Hello everyone. So how are you today? Okay, I hope that you are fine. And uh, what did you learn last time? You still remember? Okay. I hope that you will not forget what you learned last week. Okay. So uh, today we are going to learn grammar. Okay. So grammar is in here. Okay. Uh, we talk about introduction. Okay. To future forms. So future forms in here, we okay, uh, just want to distinguish or to uh, differentiate or to show the differences between will and be going to. Okay, so the first one, okay, I would like you to look at this, okay, uh, will, okay, for prediction. So we use will for prediction, okay, for example, like, uh, okay, I will go home. Okay, or it will rain or something like that. You just predict it, but uh, uh, it means that you are not sure. Okay, you just guess it. You just predict it, but uh, you are not sure whether it happens or not. Okay, and in here is a will to okay express a future fact or prediction. Okay, sometimes it can be fact, sometimes it can be prediction. I mean, you just guess it. I'll be summer soon. Okay, so sometimes you go, sometimes you don't go, so you are not sure. Okay, it will be cloudy later, and sometimes it's, it will not be cloudy, it will be rainy or something like that. Okay, uh, we use will to express a prediction based on an opinion. <clears throat> For example, like I think United uh, will win this season. Okay, so it's just what you think, but uh, you are not sure whether it happened or not. Okay, and another use of will, we use will in the main clause, okay, not in the subordinate clause. For example, if you study hard, comma, you'll have passed. So we use in the main clause in here, not subordinate clause. Subordinate clause is the first clause, the, the first part in here. Uh, the, the part that starts with if, if you study hard, it is subordinate clause, and this one is the main clause you'll pass okay not if you will study hard or something like that because will cannot stay in the subordinate clause okay so another point is uh, going to the you going to for prediction okay going to uh, to express okay a prediction based on a present fact or evidence Okay, if you have evidence or uh, you have like uh, thought or uh, you are sure, okay, that you uh, will do it, so you are going to. For example, like she looks awful. Okay, maybe uh, it is a fact or something like that. So you can use uh, here. I think she's going to to faint okay another part okay be careful with that knife you are going to cut yourself mean that you are sure that you are going to cut yourself okay that's why you are you just going to but if you are not you are not sure you say okay you will cut yourself okay maybe 50 percent happen and another 50 percent will not happen okay so Sometimes there is a little difference between will and going to. Will run, okay? We are going to run out of money if we are not careful, okay? Another use is uh, decision and intention with will and going to. Will to express an intention at the moment of speaking mean that you speak now and then you do it now or do it later okay you don't have any plan you have uh, you haven't decided okay uh, to do it yet or something like that so you, you will but if you are sure that it will happen you have already decided you'll be going to okay uh, for example like this someone at the door I'll get it mean that you talk now Okay, and it happened later in here. I'll get it. Okay, 
uh, another path going to okay for future plan okay decision or intention made before the moment of speaking uh, for example I'm going to visit my parents at the weekend so you have the plan that you are going to visit okay uh, your parent and the uses okay of will and shell shell uh, will as a model auxiliary verb to express offers willingness or a, a request a refusal and a promise okay for example like i'll help you okay uh with that okay for offer i will uh, will you marry me okay willingness will you do the shopping okay request uh she won't come to the party okay refusal i'll pay uh you back okay next week promise okay when you promise that you will pay okay your friend back next week or something like that you owe your friend or, or other people or something like that shall use mainly in question your phone's ringing shall i answer it okay so sometimes okay we go into in here okay we consider as a present continuous for future arrangement I mean that it had the same form to the present continuous in pretty visit present continuous and in american english is it present progressive actually it uh i mean they are the same okay it ha uh, just have different names okay but the meaning are the same just one British English and another one is American English. So, uh, present continuous to expect personal arrangements and fixed plans. The times and place have usually been decided. I'm playing tennis with Tom on Friday, okay, for example. So, uh, I hope that you can understand all of this, okay, to make uh, clear okay i just want to summarize what i have explained okay for the whole page in here in the video so we'll be you for what you sing now you talk now okay and then you do it now or do it later okay or do it in the future but if uh we talk about going to going to is you for future arrangement when you have already planned you have already decided uh, already decided before the time of speaking Okay, and uh, when time is on, time is up, so you do it. For example, like uh, it will rain. When you look at the cloud, okay, and you are not sure whether it's rain or not. It will rain. You talk now, and then it might happen later. Fifty percent happen or something like that. Another fifty percent will not happen. And if you say I'm going to go back home, okay. Uh, on Monday next week so you have a plan maybe you have already booked uh, a flight ticket or something you have already bought a flight ticket or something like that so you uh, are sure that you are going to go uh, back to your hometown or something like that or your homeland okay so will is not sure and we go into it to sure that you have already planned it or something like that Okay, so uh, for this part, I would like you to take a look at uh, the first, this one, the first point, the second point, the third, the fourth, the fifth. So I would like you to take note, okay? Uh, the first point, take note only short, short, okay? Uh, like, will to express future fact or prediction and give uh, write only one example, okay? And uh, the second point, going to for prediction. Okay, we use going to for prediction based on fact or evidence and then write one example. Uh, number three, decide a decision and intention with will and going to. Okay, you just write, uh, make uh, one example for each. And number four, okay, add the uses of will and shall. So you just use the verb uh, will, okay, as a modal auxiliary verb to express offers. So you just uh, take note that much and then give me one sentence. That's it. Uh, right in your notebook, okay. And the last one, present continue you for future arrangement, okay. Uh, you just take note that much and then give one sentence to uh, 
make sure that you understand the use of uh, present continuous for future arrangement. So uh, this part only that much. You only take note that much. Okay, the uh, five points, five important points. So now let's move to practice. Okay. Okay, this is this part is practice part. So this practice part, I want you to complete the sentences, okay, by choosing the correct alternative. Alternative means choice or, or option. So uh, we have number one to number ten, okay, and uh, the option is is here, okay. The option is here. Uh, we have two options like arguing or arguing. One is uh, future simple will, and another one is present continuous be going to okay so not only the exercise but also okay this part the lesson in here the lesson part in here i have already screenshot and then sent into our group you can check and if you are not sure with uh, this part you can ask me in this group or uh, ask me privately okay you can uh, send a message to my telegram privately and i'm okay waiting for your uh, questioning okay and this part Okay, uh, you write, for example, like look at number one. My train leaves in 10 minutes. Don't worry. Okay, I'll give you a lift or I'm, go I'm giving you a lift. So you have to decide, okay, whether you, you, choose, uh, you choose the first option or the second option. And then write in your notebook and after that send it to me, okay. And the deadline of checking attendance is uh, 2 5 okay, p.m. this afternoon. And please don't be late. I hope that you can uh, finish it on time. Okay, only uh, that, that much for today. Uh, okay, exercise. And uh, for homework, okay, I would like you to read okay, a book in our experiencing program. Okay. So uh, the deadline of your homework is at 12 uh, tomorrow afternoon. So please don't forget to read it and be check okay, whether you read it or not. Okay. So thank you very much everyone and thank you for your participation and uh, hopefully that you will not be late. Okay. Uh, please do this part and then send it to me including the previous one which is about the lesson okay i have already sent into a group okay okay thank you very much see you next time